previously on Edgemont. No, I said that maybe people need to be ready to put themselves out there. It's the cause they really believe in. And do anything, but for the right cause. Well, definitely anything. Hmm, I'll tell you what. I'll think about that and get back. Underestimate the power of media. But listen. Maybe I never got up this morning. Maybe I'm dreaming this whole thing. Wait, I've got it all figured out. Uber Burger. Now I know I'm dreaming. You do the radio contest, but you do it to raise awareness about Uber Burger. Did I say dream? I meant nightmare. We can use the money we raise to stop them. Uber Burger's promising to donate some computers if the administration lets them in. Well, we can buy our own computers. You see where this leads? Yeah, it leads to me, bald and naked. And then I'm a bungee cord. Get a tattoo. Image of your choice, of course, as long as it's visible. And reptilian. 
yourself. You're worried about being humiliated. Huh, glad you picked up on that. It's a simple fix, you know. Yeah, I know. Drawing quarter gel curvers. Stuff the ballot box with a zillion suggestions. Things you can live with. Press them, nobody gets hurt, and an important issue is brought to the public's attention. I like my idea better. Besides cheating. Uber Burger's the thin edge of the wedge, you know. First they donate some computers, and they're dictating the curriculum. If you want it so bad, why don't you do it yourself? It's not my day. It's not mine either. It's Gil's. Go talk to him. It can't be. The page lucky I know never actually relaxes. <laughs> I earned it after all the overtime I put in last night. What are you talking about? There are only three skits done, though. Yeah, and six hours of cleaning up the mess you made on the inventory. <laughs> you lost 50% of yesterday's inputs. That is totally impossible. <laughs> totally not. I just put in another suggestion. You sing up Canada at assembly, wearing a leopard print bodysuit. You wrote that down yourself? Not anybody helping you? I don't know why you're being so testy. Gee, let me give you a hint. It's just a joke, okay? A chance for everyone to imagine you laying your hair down for a change. I let my hair down. Right. Shannon Ng, Mrs. Go Crazy. Hey, what do you do? Eat a whole bag of potato chips and not brush your teeth right after? How would you know? Come on, it's obvious to everybody. So, this is what the count was and the balance was out the same amount. I did that count myself. <laughs> oh, I know. You thought one month of speakers was two units? It's only one, so I just computer inventory and it's weird. Oh, I didn't realize you were so smart. I didn't realize you were so stupid. <laughs> Thanks for covering for me, anyway. Oh, I don't mind. I needed the overtime. Well, I do math at home, the numbers don't really add up. So you having a hard time with money? Well, by the time I pay the babysitter, I'm paying about 50 cents an hour. Diapers are expensive. What do you think all the schools really think of me? I think you're great. I think I'm uptight. <laughs> I think a better word would be concerted. Hey! Hey, you're back! How was Montreal? Cold. Already. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, you're just in time. Shannon's having a moment of self-doubt. I think I'm fine. Jen does. <laughs> it's been conservative. Well, you're pretty cautious and you're pretty consistent. I change, I adapt, I've tried new things. That's right. The other morning, she put bananas on her cereal instead of strawberries. No. Yeah. That's not fair. Most people eat the same thing for breakfast every day. Don't they? <laughs> Shannon, we like to share it well. It's ditch water. It's a lot of water. Shannon, that's not a bad thing. In an ever-changing world, it's nice to know that some things stay the same. We can depend on you to be dependable. <laughs> to Mexico. My dream. Are you serious? Are you happy? Well, to tell you the truth, I'm a little overwhelmed. It's an incredible act of generosity, I know. But you're worth it. Oh? Why? Well, because you're gorgeous and smart and funny and thoughtful. You're doing just fine. You can keep going if you want. <laughs> you're also totally independent, which is such a great change from every other girl I've met. Independent? Yeah. I mean, you know what you want to do when you do it. I don't hang around my neck like some limpet. So, if I was dependent on you, that would be a bad thing. Yeah. I mean, we're together because we want to be. Because it's fun, right? Just fun? Yeah. Like, taking a vacation together. 
That's supposed to be fun. A fun idea. Well, if we're supposed to be so independent, then uh, what are we going to do on a vacation? Avoid each other the whole time? Well, if we have to keep talking about a relationship, we probably will. Stare of yours? Cannon's not going to do it. He told me. Yeah, your brains are all the same. Yeah, 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 but no guts. Yeah, well, she may not have the guts, but I do. What are you getting at? I'll do it. As long as people pledge money to keep Uber Burger out of our school. Yeah, people might pay to watch you embarrass yourself. I know I would. So then it's a deal? Oh, no, it's not. I'm doing the contest. <laughs> but you said you weren't. I've changed my mind. It's part of letting my hair down. I'm doing this to stop Uber Burger. I'm doing this for me. Yeah, but this isn't you. I think I know who I am, Craig. Make your draw. I'll take the dare. No, I'm gonna take the dare. Okay, folks. Sharpen your pencils and fill in those suggestions. Because we got double jeopardy now. Twice the action, twice the fun. Shannon Ng and Craig Woodbridge are gonna take on the dare. Together. <laughs> Dare. Wrap Ravinson's desk in toilet paper. What? To tame? Actually, the word that sprang to mind was prepubescent. We don't have time to discuss the finer points of public humiliation. Hey, way to go, Shannon. We just heard. Yeah, I didn't know you had it in you. There's probably a lot about me you don't know. Well, I dared you guys to take a bath together in chocolate pudding, just so you know. Thanks, man. I could change the flavor if you like. I hate to interrupt this little tat tat tat. Annika, uh, could we talk later? I'm a little busy right now. What are those? Nothing. Nothing. Dare, wear pajamas to school. And you thought toilet paper was lame? So rigging the contest, are you? We're just submitting our own suggestions. There's nothing that says you can't do that. If you're going that way, why don't you just replace the ballots altogether? I'm going to. You never told me that. I was going to handle it on my own. There was no need for you to volunteer. I was already enlisted. You're the one who volunteered. Children! Children. If you are going to do this, and I don't disapprove, there is one thing you should know. I'm going to do it my way, all right? Okay. Do it your way. I really don't need help outsmarting Gil Curtis. You're not outsmarting him. You're just cheating. Hmm. Came to drop something off. Huh. I talked to Ravenstein. He said if you wanted to enroll for this term, it's not too late, but I shouldn't wait too much longer. Well, what makes you think I want to go back to high school? Like you said, I mean, after you finish paying the sitter, you have 50 cents an hour. Without high school, you're going to be stuck in minimum wage jobs. Right. Thanks. I'll let you know if I need any more vocational counseling, Mark. There's one good reason why you can't go back. Because if I cut back on my hours and go back to high school, I wouldn't have enough money to pay the sitter. Plus, I'd never get to see my kid. Plus, I'd be treated like a sideshow act, girl who got herself knocked up. And I don't have a single friend left today, see McKinley. They've all graduated. All right. So it wouldn't be easy. Oh, you spotted that, did you? And I'm not saying I have any idea how to live your life. Excellent point. But for what it's worth, if you did go back this year, you would have one friend. Okay, coast is clear. Two minutes before class ends and this place starts filling up. I can't believe we're actually going through with this. Oh, no. Somebody walked it. Gil. Yeah, you thought someone might tamper with the suggestions. Crazy, huh? You knew about this? Oh, I was trying to tell the man here right after lunch, but he didn't need any help. I've still got it under control. You take the bag, I'm going to the janitor's room to get a grip. Ugh, please! You're probably gonna hurt yourself. Could you let me handle this? We got like a minute and a half. who kept a diary. One of those ones with the little keys. Right. The stuff she wrote in there. Especially about her older brother. Yeah, could you drop it now? Why, thank you, Annika. You're welcome, Craig. Yeah, thanks, Annika. You know I could have handled it. Perhaps. But we're supposed to be a team. Not when it's something this important. I beg your pardon. Are you ready? It. I'm gonna go throw this away. No, 
Well, you can't. Somebody could find them in the garbage. <laughs> I am gonna hide them until after the draw. Where? It's best you don't know that. This is gonna be too funny. I can't wait to see the look on your face when Gil reads that ballad. You're not actually planning on being there, are you? I'm heading over right now. I wouldn't miss it for the world. I submitted a bunch more dares. Green slime, uh, belly dancing in the school assembly. <laughs> There's my dorky brother. About to humiliate himself. Then again, he's been humiliating himself since the day he was born. So at least he's good at it. Sibling stuff. I don't want to get into this. I'll see you there. Yeah, sure. Actually, I can't even believe that we're related. Anyone who'd volunteer to do something like this. Thank you for the support. You're welcome. We jumped the rails a little bit. You think? And I'm sorry if I started sounding a little testy earlier. Don't I have the right to ask questions? Well, yeah, but you have to be willing to hear my answers. Okay. We're we're still in high school. I don't want to have to commit to anything. I thought it'd be fun to have a trip with you, but it didn't mean more than that to me. And I, I don't want it to yet. Okay. And I'm not saying that that's not going to change, just when we're a little older. Yeah, whatever. So, do you want to go to Mexico or not? Is it a choice? I could refund the tickets. They're not a seat now. You know what? It's just way too much money. I'm never going to be able to pay you back. You don't have to. No, I don't feel right about you buying it either, so... Why don't you take your ticket and just go on your own? Because I don't want to go on my own. The whole point of this is... What? We're independent people, aren't we? Yeah. That's how you feel. Yeah, go. I think I'm gonna have a bunch of things to do anyway. Craig, Shannon, uh, you both know you're bound to accept the terms of the winning dare, no matter what it is. Right. Absolutely. So you got your gems. So let's get the show on the road. Oh, my locker. I'll get it to you oh uh, just so you know, there's been one slight glitch in the proceedings. What did you do with mine? Don't worry, Annika has it. I've discovered evidence that the suggestion box was tampered with this afternoon. This was just found. Hey, isn't that your bag? It's got a deck, wasn't it? It's full of suggestions that were in the original suggestion box. I know, because some of mine were in it. I'm supposed to get rid of it. Annika. Nor will I speculate on how these suggestions got separated from the box. I mean, I would never suggest that anyone was trying to cheat in any way. But to make sure we draw a legitimate suggestion, we're going to draw one in the gym bag. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on. How, how do we know where those came from? Craig. Oh, they could be faked. Shut up. Did I do something wrong? The dare. Shannon and Craig will be running through a local Uber Burger restaurant. Naked. Yeah. 